Hello everybody out there, my name is Rasmus and today I'd like to show you how to take care of your axe. Now this particular axe is a Grand Swiss Brooks Small Forest Axe. This is my favorite axe, there are a lot of other good brands on the market like SA Wetterlings, the S-Wing Axis and the Holter Force Axis. They're all great axes and this is just my favorite choice. I'll put some other brand names down in the description or here in the video. Um, but uh, this is my favorite axe and uh, this is the axe that I'm going to be taking care of today, so stay with me. Now, when it comes to the axe, there are three different parts that we need to take care of. There's the wooden part, which is the handle, and there's the metal part, which is the axe head, and there's the leather part, which is the axe sheath or the axe holster. Okay guys, so as I said, we've got the leather part, which is the axe sheath, and we are taking care of this part with some leather care and we the next part is obviously the wooden part which is this uh, handle right here it's made out of wood obviously so we need to take care of that with my choice which is linseed oil also called lin oil in Denmark um, and for the metal part which is the axe head I'm using some universal oil you can also use gun oil or you know some regular metal oil Make sure it is acid free. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my handle a slight coating of linseed oil. You can use raw linseed oil, you can use boiled linseed oil. There are advantages to all kinds of different stuff. Uh, boiled linseed oil or raw linseed oil is the preferred choice for most people. Um, it has been for a long period of time. Seems like I can't get this thing open. Ah, child safety. Okay. Um, you can use a piece of cloth for coating the X handle. Um, this is just regular paper. Obviously it's going to soak up a lot of the linseed oil, which is kind of a shame. Because it's a good product, but it's not too expensive in Denmark, so I don't care too much about it. So I'm just taking a little bit on there and I'm just quickly I'm not putting it all in one place I'm spreading it out quickly so it's like this and then I'm spreading the coating all over the X handle make sure you don't use too much it's gonna be a bit greasy if you use too much so just use a slight coating and that'll be sufficient make sure you put some linseed oil on the wooden parts around the axe head and also here on the top like that okay so that's pretty much it use some good linseed oil and make sure you add a very thin layer to the entire axe handle okay and you can see that gives a bit of a dark color to the axe handle that looks very nice okay so that's the axe handle okay when you're done with this piece of cloth, you soak it in water and you toss it in the trash bin or you burn it on a campfire or you know, burn it off somewhere. They're highly combustible pieces of cloth with linseed oil. Okay guys, so the next part obviously is the axe head. This is a carbon steel axe head. Um, so it could potentially rust if we don't take care of it. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use some universal oil. Um, this is acid free oil. That's very important. You don't want it to eat up your metal head So I'm just gonna take some of this and put it on a piece of paper or directly on the axe head And that's your choice. Make sure you don't use too much Just a, a little bit a swig if That's what you're gonna want to call it and you just add something to the axe head 
obviously watch where you put your fingers you don't want to cut yourself on the edge make sure you cover all the parts the top and the bottom as well the back the bottom there the sides make sure you cover the entire axe head and watch your fingers that's very important too okay when I'm done with that I'll just throw this piece of paper out and this uh, axe, has, axe head has got a, a slight coating of oil on it and that'll be sufficient hello everybody welcome back to the morning news now I'm just kidding what I'm gonna show you guys now is I'm gonna take care of this little piece of leather which is the axe sheath or the axe holster and I'm gonna use some leather thing I don't know what to call this stuff but it's just you know leather maintenance stuff um, you know make sure it's not greasy make sure it's some good quality stuff because this this kind of stuff is expensive it's good leather and it's a great product from uh, my favorite axe company so I'm, I'm not I'm not using some cheap stuff I'm using some proper stuff to take care of this leather okay guys why is it important to take care of this piece of quit uh, <laughs> Okay guys, so why is it important to take care of this? Well, if you don't take care of this, it's not going to work properly. And it's, it, without this, it's not safe to carry this, okay? So take care of this piece of equipment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I have the axe sheath right here. And I'm just going to open this little plastic tin, which has the stuff in it. And there's a bit in the lid anyway, so I'm just going to use that. I'm just gonna use something on my fingers. It's not it's not dangerous or anything. It's a good natural product. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. I actually took a little bit too much. That's not a problem. I'll just remove it. And then once I've got something on there, I'm just gonna take a piece of cloth and again I'm just using some paper um, and spread it out on the leather. And make sure you use enough because you can always wipe it off afterwards I think so anyway yeah should be possible to wipe it off afterwards okay and you know a tool like an axe is a great great tool um, back in the days I thought that, a, that an axe was a piece of crap but that's because I hadn't tried holding you know a good quality axe that only I've, I, had, I had only tried using you know cheaper axes and they didn't work properly so you know the axe heads fell off and there were no sheaths and everything like that so once you've tried a good axe you'll love it trust me and I disagree with you know bigger knife over an axe I must say that I think an axe is a better choice than a machete in uh, the regular woods obviously in a jungle it's not such a good such a good tool to have obviously but you know for normal bushcraft activities an axe is just a great choice and I think that you can do some beautiful stuff with an axe also carving you know if it's small enough and obviously it has the regular uses of an axe like splitting wood processing firewood um, hey want to see a blister that's a blister right there that's one hell of a blister and I've got one there too yeah yeah that's funny funny stuff okay so once you're done with that the leather right here all you're gonna do is you know let the thing dry obviously I said this stuff is not greasy but just let it dry for a couple minutes and that'll be enough okay guys so now we've taken care of the handle the axe head and the axe sheath I'm just gonna connect the three parts, obviously the metal and the wood is already connected. Ha ha ha. And uh, yeah, I've done something wrong. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now we've taken care of our axe. It's safe to use. It's not gonna, the wood's not gonna split or break. This uh, axe head's not gonna rust. The leather isn't gonna crack. And uh, we, we, we have a great product that is well taken care of. And you know, this stuff. You know, some of it might be expensive, but so is this axe. I mean, this is a 
this particular axe is, is expensive. Obviously you can use cheaper axes, but they're just going to fall apart on you. Um, but this is not the only good axe company. As I've said, there are a lot of other good brands. And I'll put some other brands in uh, the description. Okay guys, so I hope that you learned something. And I hope that you're going to spend the time to take care of your axe. And that you've learned a little thing or two. And obviously enjoyed the video. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And I hope that you'll leave a comment and uh, maybe subscribe to my channel.